Black Ducks residents are now dealing with the difficult aftermath of the fire that destroyed a historic bridge there. The city's future plans involving the bridge are possibly ruined after nearly a third of it was destroyed. Authorities believe the blaze was an intentional act of vandalism and a search for the culprit is underway. Our Jackson Bruner was there today for an in-depth look. The Minnesota and International Railway trestle at Black Duck was going to be a part of the city's bike and trail program. After Monday's fire, that hope may no longer be possible. In the future, we had hoped to continue our, our bike trail completely, and the trestle would have looped it together and made it a complete circle. The bridge has been on the National Register of Historic Places since 2014, and the damage it's taken has affected Black Duck's community. Barricades now block the entrance to the bridge, which not only contained a lot of history, but was also a popular warm weather destination for locals. It was fun walking on it with my friends because, especially the older ones, they tell stories about Black Duck way back when and love talk walking my dog on it. And for the people of Black Duck, the trestle carries some special significance. I didn't really grow up here, but my family was from around here, so um, known of it ever since I was a kid, and it's been a big part of Black Duck because the railroad used to come through. It's been difficult for authorities to tell if the bridge can survive, as the north end burned for nearly an hour and a half before it could be fully extinguished. The beams are very large underneath, full of creosote, so they burned and smoldered for quite a while. The upper deck is burnt off completely, and then some of the bigger pylons underneath, uh, they're no, they probably aren't replaceable. As the search continues for the trestle arsonist, the city asks for anyone with knowledge of the situation to provide help. If they have any information of seeing anybody or can give us anything to go off of, and I'll contact the Altremi County Sheriff Department. Getting to the bottom of this case, as well as Black Duck's transportation future, will likely take time. Jackson Bruner, Lakeland News. The fire chief said conditions could have caused the bridge fire to extend even further than it did, especially when dry grass and wind gusts are concerned. Information on the arson caves can be reported to the Beltrami County Sheriff's Office. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.